Welcome to high school. We gonna tell you the story of our friend Katie. How she moved here from Kenya and how her dodgy decisions caused another girl to get hit by a bus. It's a cautionary tale where people died. No one died this is in Heathers. I'm 16 living in paradise with the lions and birds and stuff. But I'm 16 and it's not enough. We're going to America. I get to go to a real school and try something new. Hello fellow teen. Unsubscribe. It roars. Sad. You've been in there for a really long time. You're either doing drugs or very constipated from using drugs. Hi, I'm gay. I I'm also gay. Where do you belong? Who are they? We call those three the plastics. They're shiny, fake, and hard. My name is Regina George Fear Me and Love Me and my boobs are totally real. Regina is my master. And I'm stupid. Why don't I know you? I'm from Africa. If you're from Africa, why are you white? I used to be homeschooled. That's so fetch. Don't sit with them. Sit with us. Okay, sit with them. On Wednesdays we wear pink. Hi, I'm Aaron. Gruel. I tried to say great and cool at the same time. Cool. Notice me, senpai. We call this the burn book. We use this to ruin people's lives. Have you seen any guys you think are cute yet? There's this guy in my calculus class, Aaron Samuels. Bird noises. <laughs> That's Regina's ex-boyfriend. Don't worry, I won't tell her. Katie likes Aaron. That bi If I could change the world, I'd make it Halloween and also have real peace every single day. Maybe world peace should be first. World peace and then Halloween. Wait, let me start over. If I could change the world, i make us have world peace and also Halloween every single day. Yeah, that's right. In Halloween, we get to pretend to be someone else. Just like the internet, only in person and with candy. I can be who I want to be and be sexy on Halloween. I could be a sexy doctor and cure some sexy cancer. That's not right, is it? No. Doesn't matter I'm a sexy mouse, duh. Why do you look so scary? It's Halloween. Why do you look so scary? It's Halloween. Why do you look like that? It's Halloween. Why you look so scary? It's Hallow. Sent by. Gretchen said that you have a crush on Aaron. Gretchen said what? Don't worry, I'll make sure he loves you. Thanks, you're the best. Katie has a crush on you. She's weird. Don't date her. Date me. It's fine till someone gets hurt. Sad. She took him back. Regina just like, took Aaron back. See Caddy, Regina is a life ruiner. So let's ruin her life. Revenge party. Regina wanted me to tell you that Aaron liked her better than you. I hope we're still friends. Bye. How do you make Regina stop being so attractive to Aaron? Call teen. What's that? These bars will make someone gain weight. Excellent. Hey, what's that? I use these call teen diet bars in order to lose weight. I need to lose three pounds. Bring me a whole box. We need Gretchen to expose Regina's secrets on Christmas. All right, where are the candy canes? Candy canes for everyone. Except for Gretchen. Bird noises. <laughs> well, if you and Regina are best friends now, then you can have all of her secrets. Her natural hair color is dark blonde, not blonde, and she cheats on Aaron with Shane Oman, and I never told anyone that because I am such a good friend. Finally, we ruined Regina's life. Now, I can be with Aaron. Someone made me fat and told Aaron about Shane Oman. Which one of you backstabbing plastics did it? Doesn't matter, we have a talent show and I need a safety pin for my tiny skirt. Hi, I'm Principal Duval and this is the talent show. We're skipping everyone else and just going straight to the plastics. Give a round of applause to the plastics.
Her skirt fell off. That was so fetch. Gradchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Regina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. Those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest. Because the vest was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Sweatpants are all that fit me right now. Fine. She left. We are finally free. And I'm a new queen bee. I hate my life and I'm not popular anymore. Caddy is having a party. Forget her party. I'm not going looking like this. I need my bar. Honey, stop eating that. Those Calteen bars are making you fat. So how do you like my party? It's cool, I guess. Shut up. You love it. Don't tell me to shut up. Now you're acting like Regina. No, I'm better than her. I'm gonna go. No, wait. Aaron, come back. Hey, you're fake. You didn't invite us to your party. I'm sorry, I forgot. I have to act like I don't know you. But it's your party. You're full of lies. You made me like this. It was your idea for me to pretend to be plastic. Buddy, it's not pretend. You are as plastic as they come. I hate you. And I want my pink shirt back. Mr. Duval, I found a book with meme comments about us. Don't worry, Miss George. I'll find the culprit. I think I know who they are. There are only three girls who are not in the book. Miss Heron, Miss Smith, and Miss Wieners. Have you seen this book before? Yes, but it's Regina's. She's making it seem like that we wrote it, but really, she wrote it. Mr. Duval, the girls have gone wild. How? The pages with the mean comments from the same book. It spread all over the whole entire school. I don't know who did it, but it's crazy out there. One of them stabbed me with the envy pen. My heart is racing. All junior girls report to the gymnasium immediately. Immediately. I know these papers have mean comments about all of you but you better make up or I'm cancelling your spring fling. Ms. Norberry, you deal with this. Make up or Mr. Duval is cancelling your spring fling. Gretchen, I'm sorry that I laughed at you the time you got diarrhea on the Ferris wheel. And I'm sorry for repeating it now. And I'm sorry for the people below us. I just wish that we could all get along like we used to in an elementary school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and everyone could just... She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to the school? I'm here for the track meet, but I have a lot of feelings. All right. Go home, sweetheart. I have a friend that was a new student this year and I convinced her that it will be fun to mess up Regina George's life. Like we gave her these call teen bars that'll make her gain weight and we made her two best friends turn against her. And then Katie, you know my friend Katie, got Regina's boyfriend to dump her. It turns out that Katie was selfish and phony as Regina George. And I just want to let you guys know that I'd rather be me than be with you. Thank you. Regina, wait. You know what people say about you? They said that you're a homeschool jungle freak who's the last hot version of me. I never meant for this to happen. Yeah, why don't you take that fake apology, roll it up tight, and shove it up your fat, Harry? And that's how Regina George died. Once again, no one died. I mean technically Regina did die for like 15 seconds. But then she revived and of course social media started going insane. I heard she jumped in front of a bus. I heard Katie Heron pushed her. This is not my fault. Regina was a terrible person. We all thought so. I'm the good one in the story. 
Janice made me spy on her and Gretchen wanted me to get rid of her. Okay, not get rid of her but it was not my fault she got hit by a bus. I wrote the burn book. Three weeks suspension and you are banned from Spring Fling. Are you mad at me? Not anymore. Thank you for taking the blame for the burn book. I like to express myself through emojis because I'm stupid. I heard Aaron left school so he could be homeschooled. So, you're banned from Spring Fling. Yes. Perfect. Because I just figured out how you're going to make up some of that extra credit. How? Yo, yo, yo. We got a girl who is joining the mathletes. Let's do this thing. Yay. We won the math championship. Hey, it's me. I know that Regina wrote the burnt book and I love you. Regina, you look very pretty. I'm wearing a spinal halo. I'm sorry about the bus. Don't make this about you, I'm the one that got hit by the bus. Okay, I'm sorry about all of that other stuff too. Okay. You know I died for 15 seconds, right? Spoiler alert, heaven looks like a really nice hotel in Miami. Also, I'm really nice now. The Spring Fling Queen is Caddy Heron. I think everyone voted for me because they think I pushed someone in front of a bus. Which is terrible. Not your fault. Don't apologize for being a bus. No, I will not. But I am apologizing for being a jerk to Janice. I hope we're still friends. We are. Everything is better now. You know one thing I realized? We're all inside a phone and being forced to talk and pose like this. We're inside an app called Gacka Club and I don't even talk like this and... Karen, stop breaking the fourth wall.